Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how to sublimate 11 ounce mugs. These are from Condi. They were super nice to send these for us to try out. They sent us a few things. So we're going to do a plain white mug. And, um, this is what they call their morph mug. And so it looks black, but whenever you put your coffee in there, it'll turn white and show your image. So let's go ahead and switch over to um, Creative Studio. This is the software for uh, the Sawgrass printer. So I have two images that I wanna bring in and since I'm not completely wrapping the cup, um, I'm not gonna go to the product page. So I could go to the product page, I'm gonna show you what I mean, and I could type in mug. Okay, so I could come up here, type in mug. And then I could pick one. So say we're doing 11 ounce, I could say we're doing the white mug here and then it would give us um, you know, these, these templates here to use. So I can always click on that and use that. I don't wanna do that because I'm gonna print two and I wanna print them on the same page. You can purchase the text print or paper in the mug size, so that way you're not wasting full sheets. I haven't done that yet, so this is how I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, so what we're going to do is go to images and I'm gonna bring in my first one. The first one I've already got in here and it's my logo. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna bring it down. And what I'm gonna do, because the way that I'm gonna cut this, is I'll cut it with a paper trimmer here or scissors, and that way it kind of wraps around the mug. So the next thing I need to do is measure my coffee mug before I you know, get too crazy with this, so I know about the size that I want this image to be. So I've got you back down here at my mug. So the way that I want mine, I'm gonna hold it like this, so my image is gonna be on this side. It don't matter which side that you measure. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take my ruler here and kind of figure out, so say about three and a quarter or three inches by three inches is where I want that to be. So we'll come back over to Creative Studio. So I can bring this in just like this. And over here is our dimension. So I'm going to go to um, three inches, probably about, yeah, I'm going to do 3.1 just like that. All right, so I'm going to have that one somewhere right about in here is good for me. I can always trim off any excess. Now we're gonna bring in the second image. So this one I purchased on Etsy. I talk about that all the time. I love supporting them over there. They're super affordable. So I need to upload. So you're gonna to come to upload, choose file, and it's going to be recent. So it's this one right here, the whatever PNG. Choose, I have rights. I'm gonna name it um, whatever. So once it's done uploading, it'll send it in here. So you wanna come find it. So here's mine. And now I need to size that down. You can always come over here and you can actually size it down like this so I could do this and that makes it a lot quicker. So you could click it like this until you get it to where you can kind of control it a little bit. So something like that. All right, so the same thing. I know that I need to be at least around three inches or so. So I'm gonna, the height at least here, make sure that thing is about three. I'm gonna do three by that two. There, three by two. Scoot it down so we have plenty enough space. Scoot it over, so just like that. So there is my two designs. Uh, I know I'm kind of distanced. I'm over by the printer, so I may sound far away, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit click here to print. And now we should be able to look behind here, I've talked about that before, and find that. Now if it don't pop up, I need to come to my rocket ship down here at the bottom of my Mac and click on the big V. And that's gonna open my printer. So now our, our printer pops up right behind, I've talked about that before. It will automatically mirror it for us. I'll double check my settings, so I will, it's polyester fabric. Um, I could go down here and click that it's a Unisub product or a ceramic. I'm gonna go ahead and click ceramic and I'm gonna double check my color is still on Vivid. And now I'm ready to go. I'm gonna hit print. All right, after trimming these papers down, I just now realized I didn't have you guys switched over the entire time. So I'm gonna show you really quickly what I did. I just trimmed these down 
Um, I had decided to just, because I don't need, it wasn't wrapping around the entire mug, so I just kind of trimmed these down really good. I got some heat resistant tape. You guys have seen me use a ton of time. I just lined them up really well on the cup, just like so. Stuck them on there, so I have them. I could see through here. You guys can't see on the camera. Let me get over a little bit. You guys can't see through on the camera, but um, I can lightly see through here. So I've got it lined up pretty good. So on this morph one, like I said, it's going to look black. And then whenever you get your cup hot, you're going to be able to see that. Um, and then the same with this one with my logo. I just did the same thing. I just lined it up on there. I trimmed the papers down to where they were going to fit on the cup nicely. And then just, like I said, I can see through here. I lined it up really well using my heat resistant tape. I used a um, lint-free cloth to clean them and some um, rubbing alcohol to make sure there was no oils on the mug. And I'm going to double check this one a little bit because it looks like since I lifted it to show you guys, I may have moved it a little. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that while I'm at that. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. So let's go ahead and head on over to the, um, the mug press and get these ready to go. I accidentally got the wrong size mug. I think this is their 14 ounce, but I want to show you that you can still do this by just holding it in there. So I'm going to get it in there and I've got it wrapped with the um, parchment paper and then I'm just going to hold it here for four minutes. All right, so it's been four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pop this out and take it over to the desk. All right, so remember the mug's going to be hot. The handle, you know, I was going to bring my oven mitt out here and I totally forgot. But you want to be very careful. I'm going to go ahead and peek just to make sure that it transferred okay since I had to hold it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Cricut tool here, my pointy piece here, just to kind of peel some of this tape. Very carefully because like I said, it's going to be hot. Just so I can kind of very carefully peek. So it looks like it went really, really well. All right. So here's the first one. And like I said, this is their, it has to be their 14 ounce mug because it didn't fit in my, um, I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see because it's super hot. But this is my logo. So you see how pretty that is, the, how vibrant. It went on there very nicely. So like I said, this must be their 14 ounce mug. I mean, I may be wrong on which size, but I definitely don't think it's the 11 ounce since I couldn't get it to shut. So let's go ahead and try the Morph mug because that one for sure is the 11 ounce and um, just see how that goes. So let's go ahead and switch back over to the heat press. All right, so here is our Morph mug. You can see that it's black. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, same thing, I'm gonna take my parchment paper and I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in here. Just like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut this. So you can see this time how it shuts. So that's the 11 ounce mug. And it's supposed to be four minutes, so I need to change the timer on that. So you guys can see in there, can you see where it's like still black in the center, but it's turning white? So you guys can see where it's, you know, changing its color. All right, so I'm going to very carefully move this. And, and here in a second, you'll see it as it fades back to black. So I'm going to go ahead and start popping this off very carefully with my tool. So there it is. All right, so there you have it. Super cute. Now I think I went a little bit long. I went ahead and did three minutes and 30 seconds um, and it was 400. I would probably do 375 because I know on one of their mugs it said 375. I'd probably do 375 for 330 or even three minutes. So, um, Hopefully you guys can see that. Look how vibrant that is. Super cute. And this one says, whatever, I do what I want. Super cute. I love it. And like I said, you'll slowly see that kind of go back down. So this one is still hot, but the handle's cooled down. I'm going to show you again this one. So there's this one. I know it's kind of hard to tell with a glare. So there's that one. Super cute. So that's my logo. Awesome. Love, love, love it. Um... And I think they're like a dollar something each, but I think on the mugs, I don't know on the Morph mugs, but I know on the regular mugs, you got to order, I think, I think it's like a case of 36, which is what I would be doing anyways, that way I have them on hand. And it's crazy because this must be their 12 ounces, what it is, because it's just a little bit bigger. So there is that one, super cute, and then this one. But I definitely went a little bit too long on this one, because you can see um, 
this browning on it, if you will. So that one's kind of going to be a little bit of a learning curve. But you can see where it's starting to, the handle's starting to cool. I'm going to bring that in really quick so you can see. See where it's already starting to turn black? So there's that. So there is the two super adorable clips. I'm pretty excited with it. I love the fact that now I can do this. This is not going to wash off. So where we're concerned with vinyl and um, and iron on and stuff, this right here is going to last its whole life. It's, it's in the cup. So it's basically to come one with the cup. There's no coming off at all. So these are dishwasher safe. So there you have it, super cute. I just love it. Like I said, I love having the um, capability to be able to um, make them where they're dishwasher safe and that they're going to not rub off and last a long, long time. So love this feature, love being able to make the cups. So like I said, I purchased my mug press from um, Heat Press Nation. And then when it comes to the sublimation blanks and stuff, I highly recommend Condi. I've mentioned them several times before, but they have a billion things to choose from. And you can order them one at a time and it may be 50 cents for a tag or whatever it may be. And you can order all your pieces. So you can kind of really play with it and get the feel of their products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.